Hello and welcome back to the No Quitters Podcast, the best MTV The Challenge podcast in the universe. I am your host, Clem, joined with the kids, Cons, JJ, and we have some more guests. We didn't have our podcast go live right after the premiere last night because we had some more friends and members of the Alliance coming in. And today we're joined with, do I say it? Just flat out nicest guy in the favorite, the people's <laughs> champion, I guess you call him, Leroy. Roy Lee, my man. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. We, you know, we they get off the elevator today. We have Leroy, Bananas, and Tony coming up on the podcast. We're kind of going to do what we did last time with one interview at a time. And Bananas, yapping, yap, yap, yap. Tony's in, like, another planet. And Leroy's just sitting there quiet, just like, hey, guys. Polite, Chilling. reserved, polite as fuck. Yeah, Leroy Chilling. was just like, you guys have pizza? He saw some pizza boxes. <laughs> Tony is, he was here, like, four minutes and he was like three beers deep. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, y'all got alcohol out there too. Oh yeah, yeah. let's oh, get some after. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll get that. you a drink, yeah. man. We'll get you a yeah. Like, all right. yeah, yeah, that that bar is a real bar. Yeah, I seen. <laughs> so first of all, I just want to get Leroy's impression. He's like amazed by this whole place because it's a fucking zoo. Like, it's what do you think though. of this whole thing that we have? Walking in, it looks like TMZ out there. Yeah, we do. Everything's on camera. Yeah. There's cameras all over the ceiling. So I've everything never is seen like, nothing like this in person. Yeah, so you do something, you pick your nose, it's on video. And that's yeah. saying a lot coming from a show on MTV. Well, just coming into something like this, seeing all these people on computers, it looked like something that was on TV before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've never seen nothing like that at all. Like a bunch of college kids. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of nerds just <laughs> going at it. Barstool's like the most hated place on the planet by some people, and they don't realize just a bunch of idiot Why? white bloggers. Because, you know... We controversial out outrage culture these days, you know. Yeah. I mean, anything we say gets taken the wrong way. So we okay. have people light their their torches and come with the pitch come with pitchforks at us. But I just picked up an intern, Mike the bike, just got added to game time because he got fired at Young and Happy. There's just weird shit that goes on here that makes no yeah. sense. So, but anyway, I mean, you were telling us before that you've been run ragged the last few days with the premiere happening last night. Yeah, they had us uh, do a workout with some fans, meet and greet. Uh, we had to do some stuff with TRL. Some of everything. So since we've been here, we've been on the go. Then I think this is my last stop. But we got to do something with Snapchat. So I'm drained. <laughs> you fly drained. back to Vegas later today? Or? Yeah, I fly back later on the night. Six hour flight. They stuck me in the middle seat on the way here. It was super what? uncomfortable. MTV fucked me. So <laughs> <laughs> fuck MTV. <laughs> yeah, right. I love them, but I'm like, show. damn, man, a, a middle seat. I can't get a window. So yeah. Yeah, we thought we're wondering why they're not paying us to do more shit with you guys. We know that now we know because they're buying fucking middle seats. They yeah. have no money. Yep. You show up on the plane, you see like two guys like me in between. You're like fucking Bro, TV. I was heated. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> just go. Yep. I read a book, which that's is fucked. rare. That's fucked. Hey, shout out! I think that's like the first challenge person we've ever heard that actually reads books. That's it. no, I really don't. <laughs> I just happened to on that one because I couldn't sleep somewhere. I was reading uh, DJ Khaled, The Keys. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. So. You live out in Vegas. I know we were talking outside. You've been out there for about like six years. What do you do on like a day-to-day -day out in um, Vegas? So I bartend at Planet Hollywood for the Britney Spears show. Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, J-Lo. I do that three days a week, and then the other four days I'm chilling, man. You know, Vegas, somebody's always in town. Right. Yep. Somebody's always in town. That's so. kind of like New York. That's it's one the, of the problems with living worst, in New man. York. It's cool living there, but like in the summertime, you know, all your friends always come in every week. They always want to go out. Right, so. and they expect you to be yeah. going out. And, and I do, so yeah. I can't make it sound like it's that bad, but I'm, right. I'm just tired of it. Yeah. I was out in Vegas for the week of the Super Bowl this year, yeah. and some dude reached out to me on Twitter and was like, yo, I know you're by yourself. Look, there was one day when I was by myself. He was like, I get you tickets to Britney Spears uh, for free. And I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. I'm going to go meet Leroy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'd, go. have been there, I'd have been there bartending, And bro. it was the night her titty came out, too. So like, ah, I, okay, I remember that. So I, like, missed, like, two huge opportunities. Yeah, now her show is, is dope. I've been doing that for about almost three years now, bartending there. I uh, worked at Encore Beach Clubs, like, one of the biggest pool parties in the city. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it, man. I'm chilling. And then does it help? Like, you get noticed quite a bit? Um... Every day of my life, no matter where I'm at, I could be at Walmart and somebody can be in there. They're like, oh, hey, that's Leroy. Or they'll, they'll hear my voice. So I'll be, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm at voice, McDonald's yeah. ordering a double quarter pounder. Like, oh, there go Leroy. So it's cool, but it could get annoying when I work because TJ said it best. There's nothing worse than being famous, which I don't feel I am. I'm more of a popular face, but having to have a job. So now right. he don't got to do shit all day. Yeah, you know, he don't have to do nothing. So yeah. when he's out in public, he could do whatever. Like I'm at work, you know. Sometimes I don't, I can't, I don't have time to take a picture, but I have to because I right. don't want to be a dick. So because that's like the first and only time that one person's gonna ever meet you. Right. Yeah. So if you're, you know, swamped at work or whatever, yeah. and like, oh, oh Leroy, bro. he was oh, a dick all, all night. Hundred pictures a night. 
It's, well, the the two of us don't do this full time. Me and yeah. Connor, we have regular jobs. Yeah. But like, we're not we're not famous too. Yeah. But like, we're on the internet. Yeah. People know I think who that's we are. the biggest surprise so when people. They're like, ah, oh, like, like, oh, you must have didn't win the season because you because you're working. Well, a hundred thousand dollars isn't life changing money. No. You know what I mean? I'm gonna still have to go to work. Yeah. yeah. So. Nice yeah. chunk of change. Don't it get me wrong. Is. No, it but is. It is. I definitely not living off of it. Yeah, for sure. Some so. people on the show think they could buy like a mansion with the hundred thousand. They, no. they don't. Oh, who was that bitch who was going to open an event space? Oh, I don't remember. But Sylvia. Yeah. Sylvia. Sylvia. Oh fuck. Yeah. That's they, some they, of the funniest things for us when when they interview you guys like in the in the start of the season and they ask people like, oh, what are you going to do if you win? Yeah. And some people say the most outlandish shit and having no concept of money. I mean, I've I've touched a hundred thousand before just. By working, winning a hundred thousand, I don't know. Maybe I want a million this season. We'll see. Mm. So fuck, <laughs> fuck a hundred thousand. I want a mil. But uh, I mean, I gotta work. I'm always gonna have to work. I mean, millionaires are probably works harder than than we yep, all do. You know what I mean? Sure. So uh, it's cool though, like Barton in there. But sometimes it definitely does get overwhelming. Like I'll get pissed because people start screaming my name like while I'm bartending, and it, then it becomes embarrassing because people that don't know what's going on now. Everybody's staring at me. They're recording me, and it's right. just like, fuck, could you imagine sitting there trying to make drinks? Somebody got a camera in your face. Sure. So it's Now I'm cool. glad I didn't go to that show. Yeah. Because <laughs> then you wouldn't like No, me. when people are cool, <laughs> like when they come up to the bar, but the it'll be a line, so somebody will start yelling, like, oh, my God, there's Leroy. And I'm like, fuck. And then now, <laughs> now people that weren't paying attention are now paying attention, so I have 50 people yelling my name, and no one wants to come to you. They only want to come to me, and I'm just sitting there just getting Yeah, so whooped. I imagine your coworkers might not be too thrilled with it either. Uh, No, they're cool with it because that's yeah. less work for them. All right, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. true. That's your girl, Nicole, yeah. too. She's down in the club in Miami and, or in Florida or whatever. Yeah. Probably gonna say but it's, yeah. It's, it's not a bad thing. It's a blessing like to be able to – because no one's never saying nothing negative. It's always mm. like, yo, like we like you, blah, 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 so – Whatever it comes with the territory. This guy also went to the restaurant Nani worked at. So he's in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Nani's went cool. to. I was. Um, she wasn't like she wasn't my waitress or anything. When we first started trying to do this and we're trying to like get you guys like get on your radar yeah. to like come on the show, I was like, "Yo, I'm in Chicago." She had posted an Instagram that said like the name of the restaurant she worked at. I looked at it and it had like a sick brunch. Yeah. I love brunch, like bottomless brunch. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna go to that." And then. She wasn't my waitress. She was the next section over. It was kind of dead, and yeah. she like came by. I was like, "Hey, excuse me." She was like, "Oh, I know who you are." Yeah. And I was like, "Oh shit." Great. No, we yeah. all do. Yeah, for sure. You're the asshole that makes fun of me on the internet. Yeah, yeah. I don't make fun of Nani. I don't make yeah. fun of Nani. I never made fun of him. I never made fun of bananas. I'm, a, I'm Tony. A, I make fun yeah, of. I'm, a, I'm okay with being made fun of. I watch. Uh, like you said, some people hate you and some people love you. It's the same thing with like the Breakfast Club. Like Charlemagne, the guy yep, is yep, fucking. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, ruthless, but I mean, sometimes he's, it's just funny, and sometimes he's telling real shit. People hate to to hear the truth about themselves. Sure. Which is the worst thing, so. Which brings us to the one the one thing we could ever get on Leroy for. You work at a fucking place that has a pool party, and you can't swim, man, and you're always in these challenges. And we're <laughs> I know, always, right? I'm worried sick. One day I'm going to watch an episode, and Leroy's just going to disappear you, you, from my screen. He's going to drown. You know what's crazy? Uh, I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, and um, my very first time ever swimming I, I, I was able to do enough to like jump off a diving board and swim to like that flag right there. Sure. That's it. So on a challenge, uh, me and Mike, Mike, the little white boy that I did my very first one with, when I, when I landed on him, and we had to swim, and he and I heard him, and then he had to go to the hospital. We had to swim like to a buoy, and I was dead because I don't have the technique. Like I've never sure. done it before. So some people look at it like, oh, you know, like blacks are afraid of water. <laughs> I'm not fucking afraid of water. I just I've yeah, never. Shout to Leroy for just calling no, out black. <laughs> yeah, no, but that, that's what I mean. You know, that's, that's yeah, the stereotypical. The stereotypes, yeah, yeah, so they're like, you know, yeah. like, are you afraid of water? Or like, no. Well, I'm afraid of being in open water where I don't know what's underneath me. A that's pool is different. Touches your foot. Yeah. Like, Listen, that has nothing to do with black white. There's plenty of people. No, who but, are but, but, of that. I, no but I'm just saying that, you know, it's. I just don't know how to swim. I had to learn off of YouTube. My mom never. So now the gym that I go to in Vegas. Um, I'll see like three year olds in the water, like babies, like in the mm-hmm. water learning how to swim. Mm-hmm. So me trying to learn how to swim at I'm 32 now at 25 when I first started, trying to compete with one of these white boys that's been doing it forever. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Like nobody ever practices swimming. I'm the only one. When I get there, I bring my goggles. Every every season, I'm in the water trying to like get better. And Wes can just jump in and go. Yeah. CT can just jump in and go. Yeah. I respect so, that though. Damn. Y- it's tough. You're working on it though. Respect and you know that. what? It's like running. Everybody can run, but everybody can't Not run six Corey. miles. Not Corey. Not Corey. Not Corey. <laughs> we talked to Corey about it last <laughs> he did, week. He ran pretty good last night yeah, on the episode. He's, he's got to work on his yeah. cardio. We were telling him that. That was the biggest upset ever. Corey beating Darrell in an elimination kind of round. It was like, holy shit. Yeah, Darrell's 
Darrell's older now, you know what I mean, and uh, which has nothing to do with it. But he's been out of the game for a minute, so I know he won the the champs versus pros. But I mean, coming from champs versus pros and then doing a reunion and then going to do the show, I'm, probably, I'm sure he probably wasn't working out. Like none of them were. Yeah. So, but Corey's young. Darrell's thirty eight. Corey's like twenty six. Yeah. So Corey's trying to impress all those girls too. Yeah. Darrell has nothing. Corey's the man. Impress. I love Corey. Actually, like, there's nobody on the show that I genuinely don't like until after you see the season. Then there's someone who I fucking can't stand. Okay, Let's fucking go. We'll, we'll That'll admit. be our enemy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. We're declaring war right now yeah. on whoever Leroy hates. At the Unless end of the it's Nicole, because I love her. <laughs> Nic- Nani's cousin. Yeah. No, I'm cool with her. Yeah. That yeah. would be the one. Well, it depends on which face she's wearing. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I tell her, like, she's so pretty. Like, you don't need to do that, you know, with the eyes and the whatever. She came on, she came on our show, was it last season? Yeah, no, two, two seasons, seasons ago. ago. And we were like, yo, you got to start making makeup videos. Like, you yeah. make money. She started doing it. She's and very good. Like, yeah. And now her, it's con- just, her contour, what they would say is uh, on fleek. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's really good. When we were going to interview her, my wife was like, I got a bunch of makeup questions. Can yeah. you throw that no, in? No, she's good. <laughs> the lips were kind of disturbing, though. She definitely looks yeah. like she got some work they, done on they, those lips. Yeah, you know, that's just the, the generation that we live in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The girls want to get everything done. And so. also, I don't want to let this go unsaid. Corey came in here last week and beat Connor in an arm wrestling contest right in that room over there. Yeah. Diddy, I'd seen him post something on Twitter. It was kind of, that was a weird arm wrestling, though. Yeah, it was. Both of y'all were kind of leaning. It was like, wait a minute. Yeah, it was, it was just, it was not, <laughs> don't I, I don't think excuses. I don't think it was a true display of, of strength. I, I'll just leave it at that. Sorry, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, I mean, true. I, every challenge I've been on, I lost, so hey. So I was going to ask about that. You've had, not that even you've lost, you've had like a rough go of injuries. Yeah. Like people, like you end up going home because someone gets injured. Well, my whole challenge career has just been fucked from the very beginning. My partner punched somebody. I got a new partner. I thought I was going home. Right. Naya got sent home. I thought I was going home. Yep. My cousin breaks her toe. I had to go home. I hurt my back uh, from working out with bananas. It was his fault. Why back injury that? came from bananas. How what is pe- it his fault? What people don't know is he, that- Bananas be- did that on purpose. Shocker. Before, yeah, be- shocker. Bananas before, took out a guy who's really uh, strong. Yeah, before every season of the challenge, um, since Bally X is my second one, we've always trained together. I'll go to LA, we'll train together before. And my back's just always been fucked up from being a garbage man from back in the day. And so, probably just improper lifting, just the wear and tear of work and what I do. And it just happened to flare up while I was filming real bad, like sciatica. Like I couldn't walk like, all the way down my leg. And I was like, I, it, they sent me home, but I was ready to go. Like I couldn't, I couldn't compete. So, it just sucks. But. You don't want to get called a quitter by TJ too, like that's no. That's, you know what's crazy? My my very first season, we quit the final. Me and uh, Mike. Mike, and so mm-hmm. everyone's like, "Oh man, like Leroy, like you let your partner quit, and it's so great that you." But I already wanted to quit. I didn't want to do it because <laughs> third place there was no money. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There was no money the first time, so I'm like, my first time making it to a final, there's no money. We gotta climb this mountain. I'm terrified. My partner's sick, so I'm like, fuck it, let's you know whatever. Mm-hmm. Do I regret it? Yeah, but we still wouldn't have been able to beat Johnny and Wes and uh, who else was it? Kenny and whoever else. So, mm-hmm. well, so as long as they invite you back, you didn't get the J treatment where he's not invited back. No, anymore. well, it wasn't a. That was totally different. Like he, that was just bad. That was just with eating. Like, yeah, come on, yeah, bro. Yeah, it shouldn't have been that bad. Coming but- into the challenges, I never knew that they were that hard. I think that probably was the hardest final that that they ever had was Rivals 1 mm-hmm. and uh, I wasn't prepared for it before then I used to just lift weights lift heavy that was it and then mm-hmm. after working out with Bananas doing circuit training and, and getting my cardio up now I'm just like totally different with it but when it comes to my bad luck in the game I mean for the viewers they're like oh it sucks well first of all I'm getting paid no matter what just to be there so yeah. I'm getting a check and then it's just a blessing, period. Like, I'm, I'm on national TV. I'm going to a different country. So it's like... I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, not you, you mentioned so, you were a garbage man. Like, yeah. this, this is, a, you know, a different life, uh, yeah. life than being a I'm, garbage man. Bro, like, for me, I'm living. Like, I definitely yeah. I definitely want to win. Every time I get the call and go, like, my main focus is coming in first place. But it's way harder than what it looks because there's so many different things that come in, into the game. And... I'm not good at everything, you know. Swimming, I'm not good at. Puzzles, I'm not that good at. So for me, it's like if it's gonna be something physical, then yeah, I'm like the I'm like the the male Car Maria. You know, <laughs> she she always wants something where you can hang from something and hold on to something. So in the challenge, you have to be an all around player. So that's why you have CT, who's one of the best players. Jordan's, who's one of the best players. Bananas, because they're they're all around good at everything. So if the challenge is just you know fucking body slam somebody, I'm sure that it would be you know suited for me, but it isn't. So speaking of this this challenge this season, without spoiling anything, how how were you feeling about your performance? Um, the very first episode we had to uh, roll the barrels. Yep. 
and run down that fucking steep hill. I was like, first of all, I'm not doing that because I'm going to fall. <laughs> so you see, you see Jordan, Jordan fall. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and so for me, once they explained that there were going to be three different rounds, I automatically take myself out of first place and say, you know what, just do good enough to survive and not have to go home. Yep. So once we started rolling those barrels, I was fucking tired. So when we get done, every male is making an excuse like, oh, this is what happened. I'm honest. I was fucking tired, and it was hard. Like, period. I, I was gassed. Gassed out. Bananas is fucking is a beast. Like, he, for him, there's nobody that that has more to prove than him because he's always winning. You know, people hate him, so he's like, he got to go. Motherfucker smoked everybody. Yep. yep. So, for me, in all honesty, I was tired. Then the second one, um, I was the first team captain. He let us pick teams, and then we end up winning. I could have ended up being in the bottom, and if I would have had to go against Corey, I probably would have lost, too. My back was hurting. Um, it was just It was just my first time back. I was like whatever, but the first one, uh, it was tough. Like it looks easy on TV watching that. Like we had to go yep, all the way around. No, I was fucking. Dead. He'll tell you probably. No, no, that one. No, no, no. That yeah, one looked look difficult. Give that us, one looked yeah, difficult okay. because yeah. also too like. It's a lot of bodies what, too. Yeah, the, a one is is it's a lot of people next to each other, and two like how often are you rolling barrels around. That and you gotta um, you gotta be one of the first to get to a barrel. Yeah. So it's so many people I'm like I don't want to fall. I don't want to get hurt. I'm already cautious of my back because if I get hurt again, they may not ever ask me back. Yep. With, you know. So I'm like, all right, I want to take it easy, but it I don't. I don't want like to. Freak I'm not making happen. it seem like I didn't try yeah, because yeah. even if I would have tried my hardest, I still wouldn't have came in the yep. top four. So I was like, cool, whatever. I always try to do whatever bananas does. Like he yeah. clearly wanted to get out ahead. Like yeah. just do whatever. He oh does. yeah, he, he, he and he's very fast. Like he like Hunter. Hunter's thick. Hunter's probably like. He was at the time probably two oh five, this tall, just a ball, <laughs> yeah. but he can move. He's a D one yeah. athlete. But now this is very fast. I'm quick, but I'm like, whatever, it's way too many people. And so I I was more surprised that Jordan did it because he fell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not just because of like the one hand, but just him falling and still getting in the top four is very impressive. That dude just hears his dad in the back of his head yeah. the entire you know, time. This, <laughs> after, after this season, um, I like him a lot more. I used to fuck I couldn't stand him after the whole Sarah move. Yeah. Right. Um I just thought he was a dick, and having a better understanding of him this season, like he, you know, he's telling, he's like Lee. I was born with fucking half my hand missing. I have to do everything better than everyone else. I always have to to be better, and I get it now. But um, just a better understanding of him. I have a better understanding of Wes because I used to fucking hate him. Mm-hmm. Hated Wes. Wes was just such a dick. He would say some of the most meanest things about me in his interviews. I'm like, man, you would never say that to my face. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'll fuck you up. And um, <laughs> He's like a troll in his interviews. Yeah, he's like a, yeah. a keyboard but, warrior. But, I mean, that's just that's just part of his game. But he means well. He's, you know, he's a good person, and, you know, that's just it. You ever chill with TJ in Vegas? I used to when I first moved out to Vegas. He was one of the main reasons. So, I uh, after I did Battle of the X's 1, um, we exchanged numbers. He had me come out there because I was there when he got hurt at the do tour. We was filming the real world. Right. And um, right. when I first moved to Vegas, me and him would go to Pilates every day uh-huh. for like three months straight, like six in the morning. I'm like, bro, I'm, I got to work. I'm tired. Like, I don't, <laughs> he doesn't, you know, he doesn't drink. He doesn't party. Yep. So after me living there for so long, we we didn't hang out as much. But we'll go to breakfast and kick it. Like TJ's the nice. man. Very nice dude. Yeah. yeah. Very nice dude. He's uh, extended the invite to us. He's been on the show. He's yeah. extended the invite to us. Like, hey, you're in Vegas. Let me know. Come by. Yeah. Uh, I've just always been too big of a bitch to no, be like, yeah. yeah. TJ's, <laughs> I mean, he he's probably one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Like, will give you the shirt off his back. Like, Seems like the type. Yeah. I, I, now, I don't know him before the accident or if this is like, you know, after some people have a near-death experience, they're mm-hmm. different. But from what I know and how he's always treated me, it's always been love. Yeah. So you've been all over the world now. On how many challenges total have you done now? This is eight. Number eight. What's the best place you've been? I mean, because you've been everywhere. Uh, Thailand or Colombia. Colombia was dope, and for whatever reasons. <laughs> Yo, putting you fucking crazy sons of bitches in the streets of Colombia yeah. when you go out. Like, I'm, I'm scared yeah, for you guys. I was, what, what fucked me up was when they uh, said dirty 30, because I'm like, damn, like, how am I dirty? Like, what did I do <laughs> dirty in the game? Sometimes I feel like they, they MTV... Like, when I was partners with Avery, I'm like, how is she my rival? Yeah. yeah, yeah like, whatever. Yeah, but, yeah. they, they kind of manufacture yeah. stuff. But um, they were like, uh, my dirty part was when, um, after I beat Bananas, and then I came back in the house and teamed up with Wes mm-hmm. to form an alliance. Well, I'm like, well, Bananas isn't here anymore. I might as well go with the, you know, the next best player so I right. can, you know, move. But they were like, that was dirty. Like, whatever. Whatever. Cool. I mean, I think that, you know, they they try to pull it off on us dirty thirty. Yeah, Coral's in here. That shit ain't dirty. Like yeah, I need yeah, I need that. Yo, West ain't it, there. It, was, it ain't dirty. It was a lot of dirty players missing. Yeah, I wanted to do uh, invasions. I really did, but I wasn't ready. Body wasn't right. Back was still fucked up. So it sucks because I genuinely love doing the show. 
Like, I love it. I tell everybody, when, when the number come across my phone, it's a California number, 818, I already know. I'm like, yes, I want to I go. I'm like, I told them, like, you don't even have to ask anymore. Like, whenever there's a show, I want to do it. And the day that there are no more challenges, I'm going to be devastated because yeah. it's like it's a part of my life. It's like summer camp. You, you look forward to going. Um, so hopefully the ratings stay good and they can kick them out for another, you know, five to ten years if possible. Mm -hmm. Shit, now we have to keep giving MTV ideas just so then Leroy can keep having his summer camp. Yeah, yeah I feel bad. for real. Yeah. <laughs> we do it for yeah. you, my man. Um, do you still talk to Mike from your season of The Real World? Because you guys had a bromance yeah, that he was just, wonderful. He just called me yesterday. He's uh, I'm not even sure if he had his baby. He got a baby on the way. Um, he got married. And, uh, Uncle we, Leroy. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, Uncle Lil Lee is what he will call me. But uh, <laughs> his girl, I think she's from Connecticut, and uh, they used to live out here in uh, in New York and like Tribeca. So now he's he just finished grad school, married, got the kid, and just living a good life. I, um, I spoke to I speak to Adam here and there. The one that was gonna be there. my next question. Yeah, Royer. Oh, Jesus yeah, we. Uh, you know what? After filming, I fucking hated him. Yeah. Like, I really wanted to hurt him. I mean, y'all watched it. I don't know if you did, but I was yeah, like, man. Yeah, no, we but, did. Well, but, your season, so I used to watch The Real World when I was younger. I'm the yeah. same age as you. Yeah. And then someone said, Bill Simmons said on one of his podcasts, he goes, if you used to watch The Real World and be like, oh, I could be on that when you were, yeah. like, in high school. Yeah. And you haven't watched it in years. Watch it now. It's the same show. You're a different person. It's way funnier because you're not even like jealous of like oh, I wish I was doing that. Right. There's just the way they set things up. It's funny. Yeah. So your season was the first one I watched that got me back into this. It, our season was, I feel like one of the best. I because it, it, it was genuine me back in. because because now um, reality TV is so oversaturated. People come in with these different agendas of who sure. they want to be, and for us, it was that's the thick time when Jersey Shore was popping. Yeah. For me, I'm like, oh, I'm a garbage man. I get to go on here and be with all these women. I'm chilling. Like it was yeah. cool. And then you know, I, I had no intentions on bumping heads with nobody, and it happened. And uh, after the experience was over, and like I said, I got a chance to like really know him because he's about to be a lawyer. Like he's a genuinely good guy. He was really young. I was the oldest cast member at the time. I was 25. They made were like 21. Mm -hmm. So, um. It just sucked. Like, that experience sucked because I was pissed. Like, I wanted to, you know, break this fool's neck. Then he got kicked out, and I had my beef with Nani. Then the whole pregnancy scare with my roommate. It was yeah. just fucking. Nani and Adam nightmare. got us ready for Camilla or Kyra Maria and Abe down the road. Like, that was yeah. like the appetizer yeah, for the Kyra for Maria. Yeah. Team. Uh, but everybody's cool. I think Dustin lives here. I, you know, male a lot porn of star. That was like yeah. another, like, I know. weird it was thing crazy. that you know, so much stuff That was like such a wild season to pull me back in. That's I, know. I was like, yo, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. On this. Heather didn't know he was in the I porn. Know. Like, it's a whole. Yo, Bro. I'm rewatching that season. Bro. This right. When we all found out, we were just like, whoa. Yeah. But yeah, we're all super cool. A lot of us just out of sight, out of mind. You know, we all yeah. live different places, but, you know, we try to keep in contact. That's awesome. That's the hardest part when you're in your 20s and then you get older, got your kids and yeah. the whole shit. I'm, just... I'm like the only one who's still really doing the shows. I think Nani, she's probably done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and, think uh, she was going to like beauty school or like, yeah. so she works in like a salon now. She People... doesn't, I went back to that same restaurant just because I like the restaurant. Like yeah. I didn't go to Stalker. Um, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, no, she was well. She wasn't there. She wasn't working that day, and it was Kentucky Derby. Yeah, so I just spoke guy. to her the other day. Nani's the shit. A lot of people like will move on from the show and be like, oh, you know, I, I'm on to bigger and better things in my life. And I'm like, like what? Not saying that she said that, but other cast members will do that. You know, mm -hmm. have kids and just like you know, fuck the show. And the show is what made you who you are. Yeah, you, know, you come right back. Darrell's back. Yeah, Derek's we, back. Everybody comes back. Mm -hmm. You'll see people because Jordan said he was going to retire. Yep. He came back, yeah. which I was pissed about because he's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Camilla retired and didn't even miss a show. She literally came back the next show. Like, yeah, no, yeah. Camilla's, Camilla's always going to be there. It's a, it's a good paycheck. Yeah. You know? It is. So. And it's and free he, travel and it's a great experience. My, so. I think I was happiest to see CT because uh, the last time I seen or spoke to him was when him and Diem left. She yeah. about the accident. CT changed his number. He was off the grid, so I never really had a, a chance to talk to him. To see him come back on Invasions and see he has a kid and it was just like, Damn, it just made me feel good. Like I was, I was happy for him. Yeah. When you're at home and you see kind of a season going on without you, you're missing all the crazy nonsense yeah. for better or worse that goes on in the yep. house, right? Yep. I was like, fuck. Now you were talking about you. You dropped her earlier. Were you scared of Naya? Because I have, I've never been more scared of someone in my life that I've never met than I am of Hurricane Naya. Um, no, not at all. Like we were, you know, we ended up becoming uh, exes from the whole free agents getting caught in the bathroom or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The worst part is having a female as a partner because when, when shit happens, you really – you can never win an argument with a female. I learned that growing up, like, with my dad and my mom. Like, you, you're going to lose. Right. Period. And so <laughs> with her, with her with her attitude, and there's nothing I – and she's the same height as me. She's six foot one mm -hmm. with no shoes on. Yeah. So 
it was hard working with her. She's scared. Like, she's scared to do everything. She's just like me. She's scared of heights. She don't like swimming. So it's just like, fuck, this is why I was a partner. And if we make it so far, we do so well, then it, it just blows up in my face. Yep, yep. Oh, well. Awesome. Well, well, thanks for coming, man. Really appreciate it. No problem. It. Thank uh, you for having me. Got the it's like the banana. I said it's like the bananas crew, the banana bunch coming in. Yeah, Leroy, bananas is uh Johnny. And that's my uh, number one guy from the show. A lot of people are like uh, they they say that uh, that if I stop following him behind bananas, maybe I can win. But bananas has never done nothing for me. Yep. Bananas has never saved me from going in. Sure. No. Nope. Or or vice versa. We're just genuinely friends outside of the show. Yep. Well, when we had bananas on the first time, yeah, you called him. Oh, okay, that's well, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember yeah. That. Well, that was the whole Sarah thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we were talking to him, and he was just like, "Boom, here's Leroy." I feel like yeah. what he did was was fine. We felt yeah. we yeah. fully supported him. Yeah. I think people just hate him so much that they they don't want to take it for what it was. Yeah, but it's just like they're they're even now. Yep. If you had done that, they'd be like, "Oh, he was a garbage man." Well, no, you know, he, 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 well <laughs> see, but uh, like if I had Avery as a partner. If we'd have won, I had no reason to do that to her because sure. our rivalry wasn't over money. Yeah, yep. Their rivalry was strictly over mm-hmm. her fucking him, and then yep. I, I beat him. Yep. twice. <laughs> yeah, get it. Then. That was, that's underrated. How you beat him twice? <laughs> he awesome. hates it. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you again. again oh, no problem, man. man. All right. We're joined now by Johnny Bananas and our boy Tony. Tony Reigns, Tony aka Two Kids. Tony, Tony two, two Kids. kids. Tony Two well, Baby Mamas. Tony Too Much Drama. Well, I do want the to, brother of Shane is what I was going to say, but hey, teach the their brother own. Brother of Shane, as of more. I, I do want to say that. When we came in this room, we have a lot of young ladies who work out there. We've been in here for a little bit. When we came in here, none of them were pregnant. I expect to find them the same way when I go out there, Tony. <laughs> Tony laid down in Times Square yesterday, and apparently the sidewalk's fucking pregnant. And so are all the uh, all those guys that dress up like superheroes. Yeah, well, I got Batman pregnant, yeah. so we're having, we're having a little Robin. Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> Well, I gotta say, listen, I've all along I've been a huge Tony fan, and I've been this a Tony fan since you were on The Real World because I remember being a young single man, and sometimes you start off you're kissing a girl, then they find out you're kissing two girls, and you went with the tried and true solution of let's kiss like maybe one more girl, <laughs> two more girls, just as many girls as you can get with. What you what what phrase did you coined this season for that? <sighs> what were you stuck in? Uh, the uh, the the quadruple triangle. <laughs> the quadruple, quadruple triangle. triangle. He right, called it the quadruple right. triangle. So, so I came in this season hot. hot. Yeah, you did. Hot. Okay. You came in this office hot. You came in this office. Yeah. Dude, you came in this office. You were buzzing around. On yeah. buzzing. You you had a beer in your hand in thirty seconds. El, well, when you fall off the wagon, you fall off the wagon hard. Uh, so El Presidente. Yes. Um, our fearless leader. He he needs to go. Visit Planned Parenthood after this interview. Um, the thing is, I, yeah, look. Is that a quad- pizza shop? Maybe. Quadruple triangle. triangle. Um, Closer to the mic. It, it happened because I don't want to say that I'm the best looking man that's ever been on the challenge. You know what I mean? Because I got bananas here with me, and he's, uh, he's attractive. But <laughs> the girl, dude, the girls, they throw themselves at me. And it's really, really hard to... Uh, have any de- self control whatsoever? To deflect that. Come okay. on. Have y'all ever seen Jenna? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Don't get me stuck. I'm the only one defending that. I call her America's sweetheart. Goddamn. The most one overrated ever. person and in the history of the And This is the stuff challenge. I have to deal with on a daily basis. All right, Tony. If you're laying on the, what do we call it, the palapa? Yep. Tony, who, who, who were you caught up in the quadruple triangle with? Who were the three? Right, we, got, we got Jenna. Oh, Jesus, God. She's pregnant. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> My girl's pregnant. Yep. Oh, She's God. got the hips for it, this, this microphone's pregnant. <laughs> we, we got... It is growing. It is growing. <laughs> All right, we got Jenna. We got Camilla. We got... Um, I'm going to say the best for last. Who, who's the third one? <laughs> wow, he can't even keep track. He cannot even keep track. The fourth one. The fourth one was Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, really? That's when I was like, you know what? This is enough. <laughs> got I'm, too far. I'm full up. I'm full up. I'm good. I, I gotta go. We had to save him. We had to save Tony. Bananas is on the top balcony, right? He's like, that's it. That's it. Tony, Tony come to bed. Abort mission. <laughs> Abort mission. Get back in your doggy bed, Tony. I got four girls surrounding me, and I'm like, he didn't have the leash he's on him that absolutely night. right. He's absolutely right. I, just <laughs> I mean, so wait, so hold on, John. Like, do you feel like that's your role now? In addition to being, you know, one of the all-time, if not the all-time yes, greatest, is being you, a dog sitter. Tony just said, "Let well, me get a sip." Dog sitter. You can have that you beer. Dog sitter. I was going to say, like, father to some of these younger guys. I, I just know that I've made, you know, I, I have seen the mistakes that I've made on television. There are certain guys that I like to take under my wing, and I don't want to see them repeat the same mistakes. But then there's guys who have made mistakes that I never made. 
And so I'm in whole new territory trying to keep this one out of trouble. I will say this uh, after, and he knows this, after, uh, what was it, Rivals, when all the when, when him and Camilla went home, I still oh. to this day feel partially, well, very responsible for that happening. You know, sometimes you need to let sleeping dogs lay. Yeah. Uh, and since then, I've almost felt like it's, it's been on my conscience and I got to do everything I can to uh, keep Tony out of the doghouse. And uh, this season... Uh, my my uh, my plate was was definitely full. I, it was a full time job. Your plate's what? full today, bro. What? Yeah, what? yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, uh, his Adderall bottle isn't full anymore though. <laughs> Things empty. Yeah, that that XR I pass it out to everybody in the in your office. Um, no, I, I appreciate Johnny. You know what I mean? I mean, if you, if we could be real for a second, I would hope so. I, I really do. I really do. Uh, you know, he's been doing this. Uh, this is season thirty. Yep. He's done fifteen of them. So he's done half of them. Half you know of them? I mean? Is that really yeah. the one? Holy and, shit. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I couldn't appreciate it more. I, I'm sitting here with him right now talking to y'all. And uh, my first season, literally, I mean, I talked to this man. I told him how I really felt about the challenge and all that. And Night one. It, night, night one. Night one. We night land one. in Turkey. We land in Turkey. We get to the house at probably sunrise, right? Because of the time difference and everything. Yep. Tony walks up to me and straight up goes, Bananas, listen, man, I know you're probably towards the end of, like, your challenge career. I know you're look, you're probably going to look for someone to pass the torch on to. I just want to let you know that I'm ready to take it and run with it, man. Wow. That's me. He was going to fuck that torch, man. <laughs> That's, me. <laughs> That's me. I want to take that torch. That, he wanted that torch for other reasons. Five minutes later, he's just, five minutes later, he's in the bathroom, and then three days later, he's uh, his spleen's being taken out of his stomach. So I'm like, yeah, Tony, you know what? You might want to slow your roll honest down. Question, honest question, question, Tony. Did you fuck one of the nurses in that hospital? Because I'm guaranteeing there was at least one blonde nurse in that hospital. There was. There was. She had... um. She had like braids, like she had like extension braids. Do you remember that one? The one she was there. She came to the. You know what? Off camera, I'll talk to you about. Okay. It. Gonna, gonna, gonna <laughs> right. bad no comment. No comment. But she was nice. We, I'm, we a, had... I'm a sucker for blondes. Everybody knows that. <laughs> yes. Keep this kissing blondes. That's that's how you keep that's how you keep it going. Um, we were actually talking to Leroy about his real world season and how that kind of got a lot of people back into with Vegas, and I think your season as well, Chicago. I mean, Dan. Uh, Bananas, you were Chicago. You're, you're in another universe right now in terms of you're, you're in like the pre. What was it? 2000. My, we filmed 2005. Uh, it aired 2006. 2006. Okay, but Tony, you had Bruno, who who made us try. I get. I don't know if the triumphant return is the way to put it. He's dead he's in a homeless. ditch now. Is, is he homeless? <laughs> you, you should take a look at his Twitter account, man, because he's 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 setting off bombs right now, talking about uh about you know not wanting to go on a challenge because we're all pretentious attention seeking shitheads or something like that and I'm just like well buddy that's that just sounds like sour grapes to me man you know? so, hey well hold on, let's get it down everyone a who's bit. gone everyone who's gone on the challenge especially guys who haven't been successful they are so critical once and it's like dude you weren't invited back you didn't you didn't make the cut for whatever reason you're not cut out for it just you know take it on the chin and instead of you know firing shots at the people who actually are good at it and who keep doing it why don't you uh you know realize maybe you should look internally for why you're not being invited back he should get back in the gym he should get back on my real world season i mean he was he was stout he was stout he came on uh his first challenge and he was he was depleted he was just he was skin and bones and uh he's homeless he's been that's homeless. what homeless people yeah, do. yeah, yeah i know i know you know and and it's 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 hard for me to like actually Elaborate on that because you know I got a little I got a little connection with him you know a little bit ate his hamburger uh, that one time right I ate his hamburger yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that, that was bad right. news that was, that right. was bad he news was really he was really tough on that season with me um, guy deaded his brother over a tuna sandwich and then Tony just eats his hamburger like nothing's gonna happen <laughs> Dick I do not understand that mentality I don't get it I don't get it but. I don't know, man. People yeah, but no, you got, yeah, but you're right. It, it's different. not. It's not anybody. It's not anybody's fault on the show why other people don't get invited back. It, it's they either weren't interesting or they didn't compete well, so or they quit, like Jay. Yeah, is that the or, way? I, the way I see it is, going on your challenge. It's an audition. You know, it's like it's almost like in sports. It's like it's like uh, the combine. You know, yeah. you go to the, you go to the combine and 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 you suck. You're not getting invited. You got one shot. You become a blogger if you suck at the combine. <laughs> it's basically. very rare. It's very rare that people go on a challenge. Do terribly their first season, and then are invited back, with the exception of me. With the exception of me. No, nah, you. No, 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 Tony. Was died. I Tony, did listen. Horrible. Tony, listen. I was gone the first week. You came in the house like a goddamn Molotov cocktail and lit the place on fire. <laughs> fought with every girl, dude. Ruptured like, your spleen. Like, fought your brother. Drank every beer in Turkey. 
every, Are you kidding me? Every liquid. And then you went out. You went out because you almost died. If you if, that, if that's not if that's not you know. You left it all, Tony, you left it all out there. We'll yeah, say that. Man. You left okay, it all out there. Yeah. Left it all in the field. Yeah. I thought he was a veteran at that point because that was scorched earth policy, like uh, you was. said. Like he I came in. He I came in. It was like I literally almost died. Yeah. Okay. I literally almost died. I gave. I mean, I've given the challenge. Everything. Four pints of blood. You're not supposed to lose more than three before you're. He thought he ate. Put, bad, a, put he, a toe he, tag he, on me. You know he what thought I mean? he ate bad turkey. That's why he was I feeling thought, yeah, so bad. I, thought, I came back in because I had left, and I went to the clinic, and they were like, "Oh, you're good. You're good. Go back to the house." This is Mexico? No, Turkey. Tur- this is turkey. Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus so I go back to the house, right? And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, let's let's compete. Whatever." What did I tell you? I said, "Hey, man, I'm good, man. They released me. I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette and do some squats." They said, "They said <laughs> take it easy." So he goes downstairs, starts smoking cigarettes, drinking beers, and doing sit ups. That's that was his. Uh, <laughs> that was his way of taking it easy. Then that night, he, so, so that night we're he was going green into as Gumby. Yeah. yeah, that night we're going into elimination. I'm in my top bunk and just I'm dying. Like I can't, I can't get out. Top bunk. He was in the he was in the bathtub in the fetal position, curled up in a ball, with my pants down. <laughs> I thought I was gonna shit on myself. It was it was really bad. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I gave the challenge that, and uh, they keep inviting me back, so I appreciate it. My thing is this: people are always like, "Oh, why don't they bring so and so back? He was such a phenomenal athlete." And what I my response to that is. The challenge is maybe ten percent athletic, yeah, ten percent mm-hmm. physical. It's ninety percent mental, and it's and it's and it's and it really has turned back into a reality show. And a house and the house reality is like what really runs the show now. So you could literally be the f- biggest freak athlete on the planet, win every challenge, but if you don't contribute to the show, if you don't if you if you don't stir up controversy, if you don't play the game, if your interviews aren't good, if you don't help narrate, it's like, dude, you're 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 pretty much worthless to them. They'd and- rather have someone like Devin. Who literally couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag, mm-hmm. but is actually a really funny guy, and is actually. What are the odds that bananas would make fun of little bananas? Because <laughs> that's who he is. You know, what? little bananas. I've, I've got a few of those under my wing. He's now. got a, he's a no, plantain. That's he, what I called yeah, them. we called him a plantain last week because he's maybe he's got to work on the physical stuff, but he's a shit stirrer. He is. Yeah, one hundred percent got to work on the phys- yeah. uh, physical. I mean, one hundred percent. I mean, this guy, this this is an athlete, one hundred percent. This is your Devin, hype man right here, Devin. Devin. <laughs> Devin. Mm, not so much. Yo, not you so much. should. You but, don't even need but, Tony but has, competing. You just need him in a suit with those sunglasses. Just, <laughs> Seriously, just hype, pump me as up. your my hype man. Yeah, yeah my hype man. The Don really, King. And then when it really gets it, when I gotta sell it, I'll be like, Listen. <laughs> <laughs> see, he just said, "Now I want to." It's fuck actually somebody. It's, <laughs> that's what happens. I get it. I get it. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. It's, I'm pregnant. it's, actually, it's it. actually funny though because as as tight as me and him are. We actually have a few uh, a few dust ups this season, man. You've seen you, there, there's they've been alluded to, but there, but uh, I would I wouldn't have it any other way. You pissed me off. I'm Whatever. sure it was at three Pissed o'clock me. when everyone was very sober in the afternoon, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Three no, o'clock. wait. So three o'clock p.m. or a.m. <laughs> exactly. So John, we're gonna go ahead and say a.m. on that, right? More than more than likely a.m. Uh, but speaking of fitness, you know, we're seeing so many people now. They're getting into the whole fitness game in terms of having their own fitness program. And we've seen a lot of these female cast members get into it now, and we're seeing a little rivalry. I want to hear names. Corey, some names. Corey let us know last week that his tenure plan is to be training professional athletes. Um, in what sport? Yeah. Who knows? He said he yes. has friends in the league. <laughs> in what yeah. sport? He like, said the league. Olympic curling? I don't know. He what said we, the league. He said the league like... The way, like, hood chicks say it going into, like, All-Star Weekend in Houston. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, now I know some guys in the league. Yeah. Um, then we've got Camilla. Uh-huh. She's got her. The Camilla Nader program. Yeah. Yes. That has Who, just been reduced by, by uh, the, the price has just been reduced by half, ladies and gentlemen, from what I hear. We so let, she. You call in the next 20 minutes. Yeah. You call in the next, if you call in the next 20 minutes. And I'll throw in a Mark McGuire <laughs> mint condition. <laughs> so she, um, she told us, like, listen, I don't say I'm a trainer. I'm just the face of it. Okay. Ashley with the ass, Dario's Ashley, Kelsey, Marie, Ashley, Ashley Marie, oh, okay. Ashley yeah, yeah, whatever, uh-huh. yeah, with the ass. She's got a she's got a training program oh, now yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dario's got an ass. He yeah, could, he could... <laughs> Dario, because he's got that like he's got he's, he's got an ass and he's got legs like Bart Simpson. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, and then we and then and then and then I think Kayla's Kayla's the next one. Kayla's got Kayla, one too. Yeah. yeah. I just I mean, where do you go with that, man? I I just. The challenge, it's like it's like the stuff that we do. It's it, it's these. I think I feel like a lot of the girls they 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 perform well on one season and they're like, well, now I'm a freak athlete and I want to teach other people how to do what I do. Whereas it's like if you look at the competition, this is the way that I see it. When you show up day one, 
The guys' competition is so much more stacked than the girls, especially yeah. on this next season coming up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. the girls are gonna are gonna actually start. They're gonna coin the, the the term that they refer to themselves as the angry hens, which are basically the group of girls that sit downstairs, drink wine all day, and like. You know, pool, pool flutes. Hang out in the pool. Because there's no Ev, there's no Laurel, no. there's no Emily Strong. Here's there's what you no... got to do next next season when you guys film and they do that. Yeah. I need you to find whatever country you're in, get some chicken wire, and just build a fence around them. <laughs> and just, and just <laughs> have, have them stay there. Yeah. Let them get a good cluck going yeah. and distract them. <laughs> yeah. Except the only we'll thing is know, Tony, That'll be a shout oh, out. Right, yeah. Yeah. Right. There, it's too uh, easy for Tony. Tony's he knows where they all get... are. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Who let the wolf in the house? Yeah, the rooster. The rooster's going to come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> Johnny, what are you no doing? Oh, we're gonna no fence him in. All right, I'll go. I'll supervise from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> you got Farmer John, and then yeah, fucking. I, I can see Johnny just opening the fucking sliding door, pushing me in. <laughs> Falls back and just watch him from outside. Do your thing, young man. Do your thing. Wake up. We got four dozen eggs waiting for breakfast. Uh, <laughs> Um, but no, it's and it, it's just funny because I I really do feel like guys showing up. It's like the the competition for us is so much more fierce and so much more competitive. I mean, you just look at the guys this season. This I looked at the tough. girls and I'm just like, man, why can't I be like? Ammo had the choice. Ammo went on. They gave him the choice. You want to play with the girls or the guys? I'm like, why wouldn't you have chosen the girls? Yeah, if I had oh, an option. Shit. It's like a free ticket to the final. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Oh, yeah, is yeah. that like his? I was like, what the fuck is this thing? Percent. He looked like uh, Adrian Brody in Summer of Sam. That's <laughs> what I thought that was. That? was. Ammo. Ammo. <laughs> I was like, is this Adrian Brody in Summer of Sam? Adrian Brody. Dude, no. How about that outfit he was yeah. wearing, too, yeah, when he like, showed up? No, it's, it, no, it's like if, if, if Lady Gaga and Cara Maria had a love child, it would be, it would be Ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Ammo actually has a really interesting backstory. He grew up in the Mormon church, and like his whole thing is... You know, trying to part ways with the Mormon Church and kind of like before I talk to him and I, I he's take, found success. I take a lot. I take a lot of things that people say about religions with a grain of salt. Um, but apparently, like what he said about you know the lifestyle he led and all that stuff was was pretty wild. And he's trying to break away from that and he's trying to he's write a really book. He's really He has. Yeah. He's basically it's basically gone in the exact opposite direction. Yeah. But well, he fast. looks like he looks like he's trying to be a sister wife. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, man. I mean, he's that guy's got some. That guy's got a story to tell, dude. So he's friends with my brother. So yo, you're all right. Let's talk about your brother. Perfect. Segment. We fucking love your brother. We need more of your brother. Anytime he's on, we need him in the banana circle, carrying carrying him along. We need more Shane on TV. We do. I'm gonna give y'all a little a little insight, okay? <clears throat> I probably shouldn't say this. But you probably shouldn't is, say a lot of things. I probably shouldn't say a lot. But I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Get in the microphone for this one. I feel like my this is be my a good little one. brother. Okay, Shane, I love him. Okay. So do we. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all. I mean, y'all seen it. I mean, that that that's that's real. Right yeah. There, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I love him. Okay. I feel bad that I left on bloodlines because I got injured and he couldn't. We we had that one. There's no doubt. One hundred percent. We was going to the finals. On rivals three. By the way, if I wouldn't have got sent home because of Camilla. I would have took because of Camilla. Yeah, because uh, no doubt, I would have took uh, Devin's spot. I mean, I, I was there with Benet, so one hundred percent. Yep. Um, I'm so glad that I get to bring my brother out this time, and uh, he uh, he won't take steroids. I keep telling him. <laughs> I keep telling him, like, dude, listen, you. It, you're no, you're no stranger. You're no stranger to taking shots in your ass. So why don't you take these steroids? We're going on the challenge. We're going on the challenge. Listen, you need muscle. You need to be functional. Oh my goodness! All right, dude has the pizzazz. He just doesn't have the the, the muscle. The that's it, the dude. Mass. He's got to put the fucking you know the the weight on. But uh, no, I I love my brother one hundred percent and uh. Man, I'm really glad he was able to do this season with me. I hope he's a right. I, mean, I I want him to keep doing these things. Yeah, we um, do too. We we the, there's no hyperbole. We're not doing. We he's electric because we we recognize exactly 1, what John percent. said when we the first time we ever had him on. We've accused him a billion times of getting uh, producer money as well because the way he orchestrates things. He and we does. we recognize the more does. interesting you are, the longer you're going to be there. And we want more Shane. Like we love Shane. He's a man. Look, he's 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 the man. He's the woman. You know what I mean? You take All right, so shots in your ass. He, <laughs> that's my little bro. I'll put him in a headlock right now. You know what I mean? I can say whatever I want about him. Um, no, that's that's my little bro, man. And uh, I think, you know, this is I always say this. Real shit. He was built for shit like this. I'm not. 
All right, he he is one one thousand percent. He just that's, doesn't have that's <laughs> that's a bold faced lie, yeah. Tony. You well, were you're, you were both well, built for it. Well, yeah, you okay. were both built for it. I'm not ways. changing the channel. You're not here by uh, accident. Yeah, let, me, let me rephrase that statement. <laughs> he was made for reality television. Shit like you know, like the bad girls. Like, he has that. You he were more made for el- like Maury. I was <laughs> no, I was. <laughs> I was more made for uh, you what's are that the show father called? again. What's that show called? <laughs> You're always the father. That's it. We're done. We're done. I think you you are you could easily be the only you know two time guest you're... on Maury Povich to find out yeah. if you're the father. <laughs> so my first time I'd be like, damn. The second time I'm thinking like, oh, I'm gonna be cheering. It's not mine. Damn. damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, no, well, I mean the thing is though, if they ever wanted to have like a challenge spinoff. You know, yeah, and uh, like challenge, you can't go, you can't go team mom. You got to go challenge uh, mid twenties mom, or no, challenge mid twenties dad. <laughs> I'm gonna start a show. Let's go. <laughs> Where do I sign? Where, Where are sign? all your kids? Where are they? Yeah, like uh, we got one in Austin, one, one in Austin. Louisiana. Okay. Uh, I think I had one in New York last night. <laughs> <laughs> Tony and K plus eight, and they're Airbnb. all by different women. <laughs> I'll email you later, dude, if you want to send him a fucking gift for their birthday. He, he actually <laughs> dropped one off in a basket at the fire station down the street. And ran it's all off. about Planned Parenthood, you know what I mean? You've got, I got uh, two condoms in my book sack <laughs> that I have not used. What, what were I, you expecting, a water balloon flight, flight later? Uh, yeah, fucking right. I tried to throw one No, I like it. You've got... <laughs> You've you franchised yourself. You never have to worry about an Airbnb. The Any only, city you go to, you've got is, a place I, yeah, I'm to stay. I'm trying to franchise myself, but none of my baby mamas want to give them my last name. I don't get it. I don't get it. I kind of get it. Uh, <laughs> 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 For being honest. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man, this has been a blast. You're yeah. an asshole. You're yeah. an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about Shane, too, because how many bloodlines do you even would you want to see on the show again? Nicole? Uh, Shane. And Nicole, definitely Vince Fail. Depending on the, the face. Pig. <laughs> the yeah. mini pig. Yeah, Vince Fail. I could go Where's without Vince seeing this Vince season? ever again. So y'all think we should do like a Bloodlines too? Yeah. 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 Right. No, nah, but we're going to wait. As no, 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 but hold on. We're going to just wait like 20 years and you're going to bring your kids. <laughs> it's going to be just your show. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be It's going to be 40. It's going to be, be you. Harper walks on there like, yeah, I'm a boss bitch. Where's Cara? She's my idol. <laughs> yeah. Cara walks on. She's like, Johnny, fuck my back up on season 83. <laughs> As long as uh, as long as I don't have to see fucking Mitchell again, Corey's fucking cousin, Mitch the Mitch. then we're fine. Fuck that. I, listen, dude. I will say though, Mitch, dude, that guy, he, he didn't bring a whole lot to the show other than just being a a, a, a funny drunk, dude. I mean, that guy he was, he was every great. every night got after it. He was Even a wino. Hard, harder than this guy. He was a wino. Yeah. Well, he's like a frat guy. Yeah. He was like still Total in college. Frat. Oh yeah. Like fr- so. straight out of the frat. Yeah, on the he was. Uh, he, dude, he. Fucking graduated from a uh, Cal Berkeley, right? You know yeah. what? I would have, I would have preferred not seeing him on on Bloodlines because th- that's what basically got me and Vince set in. Mm-hmm. That dude being a savant right. when it comes, to, the guy contributes nothing to any challenge the entire show, and then figures out that friggin' tantagram puzzle in yeah. eight seconds, and yeah. then ends up getting us sent into the. Into Are we gonna the see Vinny again on? Uh... I mean, I hope so. Uh, despite what everyone you know says about Vince, I mean, the guy's. The guy brings a lot to the show, man. He, I, I, he, and it's, I'm not just saying that because he's my 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 cousin, but um, you can also make him do whatever you want. We got it. <laughs> he's the mini pig. <laughs> yeah, go get me a beer, Vin. All right, pig. Johnny. Yeah. And Corey, Corey, we had Corey on the show. He said, Corey, who is more game, you or Tony? And he says, and he didn't even not even hesitation. He goes, me, to, my. Pull. He goes, I have a better game. Tony's pull-out game stinks. That's all he really told us. A pull-out game. Challenge no, no, in general. I said, who gets more girls? He goes, I do. Tony's pull-out game just stinks. That's why you know he has. Well, in the first episode, we we addressed that. I told him, I said, look, dude, if I didn't if I didn't settle down with Alyssa, um, me and you would be neck and, you know, neck and neck. And he's like, oh, we would never be neck and neck. I got more game than you. I'm going to tell you something, Corey. Them curls ain't working for you, dog. Them <laughs> curls don't get the girls, dog. Got him, right? Anissa. I'm right? going to tell, tell you now. I'm going to tell you now. I'm too deep. All right, I'm too deep. I got two daughters. Oh, p- listen, a pack of menthols would get Anissa, dude. That doesn't take, it doesn't take a whole lot. <laughs> this man got Anissa. This man got Anissa on his first season, and now he's got his chest pumped up. Corey, I love you, man. But, um, yeah, if I, if I was single, um, of course, my hit list would be a lot longer than yours. So enjoy it until you have that first kid, and then you got to retire your jersey, buddy. Are you guys Eskimo brothers yet or no? 
I'm you must sure. be. I feel like everyone is Eskimo brothers. Everyone, yeah. Yeah. It's an Eskimo family at this point, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's one incestuous bunch. We should start yeah. our own cult at this point. Who, who does he have? You kind of you kind of do. You guys go every year to a house and no one else can come. <laughs> and then you organize around one guy who tells you what to do. <laughs> that's kind and, then of, you all, and then you all drink the juice. Yeah, there that's you go. kind of so, how it works. Yeah, you yeah. guys are basically a cult. We yeah. basically are. All right. so, it's, and it sucks. And it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. We got we got to be out there for two months with uh with people we don't want to be around. You yeah, know you what poor I mean? thing. So we we come out we come out. So we're in New York. We're in New York, right? And we we're around everybody that we've already filmed for two months with. We don't want to be around them anymore. We don't. We don't. We don't. They try to come out with us and all that, and we're just like, okay, yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there for sure. For sure. We dip off. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. The drama continues. The, the the filming might might stop, but the drama continues. Well, that's what I was saying. Now, like with social media, it just it doesn't just stop with the show. It it's, continues all over again. Oh, and it's the so show ag- airs. It's, it's aggra- It's it's just it's just too much, man. Yeah. And the majority it's of the tough. time, pe- the, the majority of the time, people that, that that pop off on social media are ones that are trying to like become relevant again. Yep. You know what I mean? It's very yeah. rare that like that you know. It's, I don't know. I, I tend to, especially when the show's not on, I tend to kind of like, you know, distance Take it myself. back, yeah. Because, dude, especially like this season, this is the most, we you know, there's most likely another challenge coming up pretty soon. This is going to be like, I think, like three or four challenges in one calendar year, which is the most we've ever done. That's rid- yeah, it was ridiculous. When, when we saw the premiere date yeah. for this one, we're like, wait, already? We, we were still yeah. filming. We were still filming, and they're like, yeah, we're already editing in episodes. And, I mean, we were still on location, so... Ladies well, and we've gentlemen, lost Tony. We've lost we've Tony. Lost Tony, Tony, Tony just building. walked out. Tony smelled some pussy. Tony has <laughs> left the building. No, Tony, that second wave of the uh, time release Adderalls is about to kick in. Tony, yeah. Tony's going to go out and run around a little I, bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he actually is going to the refrigerator again. Ladies and here. gentlemen, listen. Uh, the, the, now the, he straight up took my beer right out yeah. of my hand. He's like, yo, let me get a sip of that. <laughs> Drink the whole thing. Pounded it. Threw it on the floor. <laughs> Didn't even look for a trash can. Now, 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 the, now the adults can speak. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, John? Buddy, it's been a whirlwind, man. I mean, this has been this has been a wild. Yep, trip. you got to be another beer. Yeah, 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 another beer. beer. Uh, it's it's been, here, look, just go ahead and put those glasses on the floor, Tom. <laughs> uh, it's been a wild week, man. Um, I'm actually really stoked about all the press stuff. That I mean, MTV finally, after 12 years, is starting to put some serious uh, some serious marketing, some serious press behind the mm. challenge. They should probably throw a little money our way so we can yeah, do some stuff, for right? Them. They should, hey, they. Uh, they, you know, I, I've never seen my my mug up in Times Square, and that was pretty it was cool. Pretty, it was yeah, really yeah. cool, dude. It was that really picture cool. Picture you and CT. That's yeah. pretty cool. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we got to, you know, we hung out in Times Square yesterday with the TRL host and did a, you know, an array of different uh, challenge competitions. We did a, this huge screening. Uh, we had like a meet and greet with fans, um, and it's cool, man. It's 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 because I've always said I've and this uh, this is obviously kind of a biased opinion coming from my behalf, but I've always said that the, that the challenge is one of the best shows on television. It kind of incorporates everything that rea- that is on reality television, and it it's not just all nonsense. There's actually like a competitive level to it. There's a lot of shows you can go on, you know, and you could be like, I mean, like the bat like Bachelor, are you the one? Like all these shows that are out now, it's like anyone can do it. But the challenge it takes. You gotta be really well rounded to uh, to survive on there. So, one thousand percent. Nice and little scripted. one dig, yeah, dude. And it's not scripted. The other thing about a lot sure. of shows on sure. on reality TV these days is they are scripted. They they one hundred percent. The producers have 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 it in mind. You know who they want to win, what storylines they want. Um, and with ours, every that's one of the main the, the two questions that I get is. Do you feel bad about what you did to Sarah? The answer is always no. And the second question is, is the show scripted? And what I tell people is, based on the environment we're placed in, the personalities in the house, the just the, 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 the difficulty of the game, and you know the amount of time that we're there, it's like reality is stranger than fiction. And mm-hmm. weirder mm-hmm. shit goes down on the challenge. They don't need to script it. Yeah. And that's, what's the, and that's the beauty of it is it is 100% real and you don't need to and all the drama and everything you see is 100% authentic. Mm-hmm. A lot of it, you know. Let, let, let me give, give, let me the give some insight. Let me, give, let me give some insight to that because, uh, you know, Bananas, like he said, that could be kind of biased. Um, <laughs> 15 seasons out of 30. Yeah, so he's going to definitely be biased. But I can oh, tell you He's right definitely now, just got his mouth pregnant drinking out of your beer. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Tony are, are, dude, are sharing a beer. Dude, yeah. there's no You just doubt. kissed every girl in the office so you drink that <laughs> beer. Shh. Don't tell her boyfriend. <laughs> this dude wants to put me in a chokehold. I told him, I was like, I'm with them. A 
pointed the bananas at Leroy, <laughs> and he was like, oh, all right, cool. All right, we'll just don't fuck with her again. Anyway, all right, so <clears throat> back what I was saying. Uh, I, I want to give some insight to somebody that, you know, hasn't done as many seasons as bananas. Uh, he's done 15 out of 30. That's half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You um, made that point, Tony. Thank you. I've, for I've, okay, so can we can we just hammer that home? You know, just hammer that. Um, I've done four. I've done four, and uh, I can tell you right now. Do you, what percentage is that? Uh, you said, you said, <laughs> <laughs> we're looking at about seventeen point eight percent. Okay, is that right? I, I want to know if that's right. Seventeen percent. Let's do that. Seventeen percent. Do the math. If I do four out of four thirty, what is, what is well, that? No, no, that's right. Right. no, it's pretty close. It's pretty cause, fucking cause close. Five would be twenty percent. So that's, I mean, that's decently close. close. It's wow. probably like eighteen point something. Thirteen point three 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 four. Right. Ah, <laughs> I was off by four. All right. Um, no, I, I just, I, I want to give some, uh, you know, whoever, whoever's listening, I want to give some insight to somebody that's only done four besides fifteen. Uh, it, it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. So if any three of you guys went on the challenge. Say you go into the challenge tomorrow. You're, you're walking. And the, in the first house. challenge is arm wrestling, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> you're going home. <laughs> Got we all know one of you would be Got eliminated him. off the, off the jump. <laughs> I have I have nothing to say. <laughs> he wait. He beat you in arm wrestling. Yeah, one on one in that room right there. Really. Popcorn muscles. Did you himself. not? Did you not set the microwave to the popcorn setting? Like, what happened? <laughs> what happened, dude? I, I, I don't want to get Kimmy, in. Kimmy, do you look like you you got some thick bones, man? What's going on? Yeah, well, he was a captain in the army. He played quarterback at West Point. This is why we can't win a war. No, he. Wow. Uh, you know what, Corey's the future, man. You know, I, if he beats you, Corey's the future for us. Damn. Um, all I'll say is just you just gotta watch the video and you can figure out what happened. We saw it. I was still disappointed. I just want to say I was for, disappointed for, in myself. For, for this season, I'll give some insight because I've never – actually, I've never told anybody this. Um, my first three seasons, uh, I did um, I did Bloodlines, I did Rivals, I did Invasion. Uh, Bloodlines, I left because I ruptured my spleen. Right. Uh, on um, – Rivals. On Rivals 3, I left because of Camilla. And we would have made it to the finals, 100%. Anyway, um, on Invasion – I mean, that was my. I feel like that was my first full season. Does anyone else feel like we've been here before? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've done this before. No, no, I'm, I'm getting somewhere with it. I'm okay. getting somewhere with it. All right. All right, so I feel like that was my first full season, and I lost to Shane and a fucking. Uh, you know, I feel like it was a janky elimination. Anyway, and now and now we're on the Dirty Thirty, mm-hmm. and I was I was uh, lucky enough to be invited to this one. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this was 100 percent when I walked in. My first three se- my first three seasons, I walked in. And I was like. I mean, I got this. I walked in cocky. Mm-hmm. I walked in cocky. I was like, hell yeah. And when you know that, like, you know, you befriend somebody that is a pro in the game, everything's cool. Cerebral assassin. I walk exactly, exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, my boy. I mean, I might not be on his, you know, on the top of his list, but I'm somewhere there where I'll be, I'll be okay. Um, but I walked into this one and I'm like, oh my god, man, this is this doesn't feel natural. This is like, oof. Damn, we got Darrell. We got oh shit. See, CTJ showed up. Shit, I was hoping they would Spoiler not let him in here. <laughs> so I'm thinking like, all right, this is the real deal. Like this is this season. I'm gonna tell you, this season is the real deal. There's no bullshit. I did see someone. I saw. I actually retweeted what you guys said, and you guys, it was something along the lines of like, uh, I don't want to say the challenge is back, but it's fucking back. It's, it's back. I mean, it's I'm back. back. It's back. I walked in that bitch like, oh, okay, you know what? It, the first episode, everybody's seen it already. I could talk about it. I thought I was going home. I didn't know Corey was going to save me. I thought I was going home. First episode, I was like, and if I do, you know what? It's noteworthy. Yep. It's noteworthy because look at all these fucking players they got. You know, we're in with it, all the fucking animals, man. King of the jungle. I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm done. Whatever. I'm can done I with ask, the challenge. Can I ask the important question? What do you guys think of uh, Ashley's new tits? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So before <laughs> filming even started, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> Please, so Tony's, gonna, Tony's gonna be real, guys. Bro. Yeah, yeah. He's, listen, bro. he's gonna stop beating around the bush. Bro. He's gonna, he's bro. Gonna be real. I'm okay. leaving glasses off. You know when one, they bro. say don't meet your heroes, they might not live up to it. Tony lives up to it. 100%. Tony always beats the bush. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right, Tony's gonna be like, all right, guys, listen. So on my first challenge, which I probably shouldn't have made it on, I broke my probably stadium. not. Yeah. <laughs> no, I then I saw those tits. Supposed to. On my fourth one. 13% of the challenges in. On my 10th when I finally made it to a final. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. So back to Ashley's uh, new breasts. Yes. Her tits, dude. Yes. All right, so we're in the fucking hotel, right? The holding area. 
what do you what do you want to call it? I don't know. The hotel holding area. <laughs> the yeah, hotel exactly. holding area. All right. So the hotel holding area. Hotel so lobby. so they they split us up in two groups. We got there. I got there first. Banana shows up with Ashley. Actually, not like both together. But they, anyway, same time. Yeah, at the same time with the other group. She walks in and she's like, he's arching he's, that back, arching that back, back sticking him out. Arch. And I was like, damn, Ash. All right, I know you won last season, but damn, let me. Can I? Can I check those out? She's like, of course. <gasps> Why don't we have her in here? <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Oh, dude, she'd be a great. She'd be a great interview, man. That, well, right, she's about next. Ashley, the thing about Ashley, dude, and it, it, it's she is who she is, and she does not apologize for it, and she'll own up to whatever she does. She's great. She'll own up yeah, to whatever she does, and it's like, and and on the show, it's like, it's almost like. You know if like you're with the you're sitting next to like a girl or something and she farts and you know she did but she denies it it's almost yeah. like come on we know you did yeah. whereas if a girl like rips ass and she and she's like yeah that was me it's like yeah, this chick's kind of fucking cool that's yeah. Ashley in a nutshell you know what I mean that kid does not matter what all she my does, experience with women I've I, never had that experience it, it doesn't matter how big of a fool she makes not a, how a fool, what what she does what bad decisions she makes she's like I did it and I'll do it again and I'm like yeah, that's kind of refreshing him she's it's kind of like a throwback to you know the old Paula Walnuts. Oh Camilla, man. yeah, keep Camilla's the exact the opposite. Is. Camilla, Camilla does shit, and then everyone knows about it, and she denies it, and then gets mad at you for talking about something that everyone's aware. That of. was filmed by cameras, that, a thousand yeah, cameras. Yeah, it's like Camilla. Can, can we, we all know what happened. Who, who likes Camilla? Everybody raise their hand. Who likes Camilla? Okay, Me nobody raised her hand. No, she was nice no, no, in person. Like, yeah, we were actually let person. down that she didn't uh, like attack us, but she was probably doing her media thing. Hey, we we were know, actually I'm looking sure for her to she... physically attack us. Yeah, well, well I think she's on a, she's on a PR campaign at, yeah. at, at this well, point. Well, she got to sell those workout it's plans. This is gonna be an interesting season for her for sure. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're hey, stoked I... for, so we're stoked for this season. We got, uh, I mean, after episode one, I'm saying the challenge is back. Uh, the No Quitters listeners, they are as honest as it gets. They think the challenge is back, and you guys are telling us the challenge is back. Then fucking challenge is back until we hear otherwise, right? Uh, hey, I, TJ's I, the fucking star of the show, pulling twists on your asses all the amen. time. Amen. Amen. All you guys need is a good after show, not hosted by Nessa. Hopefully, hosted <laughs> by like three gentlemen who uh, are I want, in their thirties. Nick Jonas. Can there we get go. Nick Jonas? We, we were actually talking about us there, but Come that's where <laughs> figuring out the context clues there, Tony. <laughs> Can we Tony get needs, fucking Nick Jonas. I'm trying to see if I can get a guy pregnant. <laughs> can we get and Nick he's really Jonas. pretty. Tony right. needs to be on the po- on the after show too with a beer and a sandwich. Actually, you know what? I'm 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 fucking I'm done with the challenge. I'm doing the Bachelor next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there we go. On ABC. <laughs> yeah, on Central. No, t- Tony's going over to Teen Mom, dude. He's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Teen Mom. We're getting plastic surgery. He might see Portnoy over there too. <laughs> yeah. So thanks Good to shit. the Banana Bunch for coming in today, and as well, always, for us, guys. don't quit on us. Yeah. We won't quit on you.